Hey, welcome back to Vintage Repair Shop. Guess what, folks? It's, it's the show weekend. The Antique Engine and Tractor Association, which is a vast improvement of me actually being able to pronounce and say the whole name of the organization I help out, which is better than last year. Anyway, the show is this weekend. We're featuring these things, Internationals, Red Tractors, the, this color red, not Massey's. Um, obviously, you want to see this one. There's a ton of cool stuff here already. But I wanted to give you guys a reminder that this weekend is a show, so it's the 15th, 16th, and 17th. Make sure to come down here. We are just north of Geneseo, east of Jocelyn. Um, there'll be a link to the website down in the description. If you need to know how to get here, you can just put the address into the Google machine and a nice voice will lead you here. Also, if you see a big silver threshing machine after you cross the Rock River, that's also us. So make sure you see that. Anyway, make sure to be here. Uh, we do allow carts to come on site. If you do have a cart, Make sure you get the you do at the register that so it's like 20 bucks a day or 30 bucks for the weekend if you have a golf cart utv all that fun stuff either way make sure you're here this weekend check out all of the red tractors also there's all brands are welcome and they're gonna have stuff out in the field so we're gonna do a really quick little loop and show you what's here so far and hopefully get you guys ready to come hang out this weekend i'll be here all weekend so worst case you can throw stuff at me that's always fun either way we'll, sh we'll show you some more stuff all these are like, what is this? Why shows it? These are all the equipment that's going to be used. Again, this is a working show. So we will pick corn this year. We're just, we're just doing corn this year, but you can see we'll do plowing demonstrations. We'll do shelling demonstrations. Got a cool IH615 there, being the IH is a theme here. We got probably one of the Dornbush's camps, Oliver's. I know they brought down a bunch of stuff. Pull type pickers. Another 615, again, you do not want to miss this show. Oh, these pickers are cool. Now this is kind of a cool thing here. Little one row, it picks it, and then heats it up into the top there, so you don't have to have a wagon behind you. You just have to have a lot of weight way over your head. So, again, cool shot, cool, really, really, really fun show. Definitely gotta come check it out. I'll show you more stuff, but that's gonna spoil it, so you gotta come out and check it out. Again, quick little video, thought I'd throw something together, drive down here today, and just kind of see how everything was coming along, and oh, there's our uh, Orphan Alley down here. Paul Sears, we're gonna do some specials on that. If you guys remember, we did that special on the, the Hyder Rock Islands. They got an original uh, Moline down here. We'll check that out tomorrow. All right, folks, we're gonna do a quick drive-by. Also, we have something literally coming straight at us, so we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to avoid that, but. Here's a small sample, tons of stuff still coming in. If you guys remember from that show we went to in Milledgeville, that is that same narrow. If you want to come check that out. Obviously, like I said, there's still a ton of uh, equipment coming in, vendors coming in, all of that fun in the sun stuff. But I thought, well, you know, might as well get an excuse to leave work early. That'll be what we call our kids zone. So if you have little ones, they can come in there and do a little train set up that they can ride around in. Here is where all the other tractors go. So, like I said, it is international is the theme, but all brands are welcome. They kind of all park together, you can see. Next year it's IH, so, or not IH, well, it's IH this year, I'm a moron. It's it's Alice Chalmers next year, and then last year was John Deere, so it's like last year's show, this year's show, little area. So D21, saw a bunch of those down at Rantoul. Either way, it looks like the sawmill's getting all ready to run. All sorts of different things. Make sure you come down here. Again, link in the description. We will see you. We'll have at least two videos coming out, one for each day. And then we will do um, the live stream, the parades both days. So make sure to come out, check it out. See you next one. Bye.